Following the Seahawks' most lopsided loss in the Pete Carroll era, the team returned to the VMAC on Monday to review the tape. What bothered Pete Carroll the most was the team's inability to stop the run as the Rams had 244 yards on the ground, the most rushing yards the Seahawks have given up all season. That we weren't able to stop the run. You know, the, the last time we played these guys, you know, uh, we were able to help hold Todd Gurley to, I don't know, 50, 60 yards or something like that. And uh, that was a huge factor in this game, obviously, that we weren't, we weren't able to control. Certainly, uh, once they got, they, they took advantage of the turnover and they took advantage of the, of the big return they had, you know, we needed to respond on offense and we weren't able to do that. Um, and so uh, that, that, the mixture of those two things really played into their game and, and it allowed them to rush the passer like they are capable of uh, and, and allowed them to run the football like they wanted to. And on the offensive side of the ball, the thing that stood out to Carroll the most was not being able to stay on schedule. We were so far off schedule, um, we either a combination of a couple of crucial penalties that happened or, or the, the, the negative plays that happened, uh, they keep us from, from getting on schedule. We had, uh, I don't know, seven, seven or eight plays that were third and 11 or more, you know, we didn't convert any of them. You know, we, we converted some on the other end of it, the third and eight or less as we did all right, but and we could have had a solid game if we had we stayed on schedule. But when, when you get off schedule against a group that can rush like they can, uh, we've made it easy for them and they took advantage of it. And, um, you know, it's really hard to overcome that. Going into the game, the Seahawks are missing four Pro Bowl players on defense, five once you include Bobby Wagner, who left the game in the third quarter. Carroll said that dealing with these injuries may have finally caught up with the team. We've been going through weeks of, of having a lot of guys not be able to practice, and, and I think it caught up with us a little bit fundamentally. Um, you know, we've had guys be able to make it to the games, but our, their, their involvement in the practices haven't been there, and I think we got, we got a little off there. And so fundamentally, in a, in a game when we need to play with great fundamentals, we didn't. And uh, we actually kind of played our way into it somewhat on defense, you know, and that's why we played better in, in third and fourth quarter. Um, but I, I think that that can become a problem for us, you know. We, we've had a lot of guys on the injury list, and we've made it through it, uh, but um, we didn't respond. I think it finally caught up with us a little bit. On the injury front, Carroll said that Bobby Wagner did not suffer any further injury to his hamstring. As for K.J. Wright, he still needs to fully clear the concussion protocol, but looks like he'll be able to do so for this weekend's game. As for new injuries, Carroll said that D.J. Alexander is now in concussion protocol. Well, the team will take Tuesday off and then return to the VMAC on Wednesday as they start preparing for their road game against the Dallas Cowboys.